Hello everyone and welcome to your partner in education, Agile Rank Mate. Today, in this episode of SRMJ Triple E Search, we're going to be looking at some sample questions of biology that can be useful for preparation of, for the SRMJ Triple E exam. Now, let's start off with our first question of biology. The hydrogen bonds between cytosine and guanine are. Now, in case you're not one, wondering what this is, uh, cytosine and guanine are two of the four. Um, nitrogen bases. There are four nitrogen bases. Cytosine and guanine are two of them. The other are the other two are adenine and thymine. Now, <clears throat> arrangement of these nitrogen bases in the um, in DNA or RNA has this particular format. Adenine always bonds with thymine, and cytosine always bonds with guanine. So um, for RNA, it's uracil instead of thymine. So that's that's the only difference. So for DNA, adenine always bonds with thymine and cytosol, cytosine always bonds with guanine. Now, um, adenine and thymine only need two hydrogen bonds, while cytosine and guanine would require three hydrogen bonds. So the question here is the amount of hydrogen bonds between cytosine and guanine, which means that option C turns out to be the right answer. The other options are incorrect. One and four would not exist. Two is the case for adenine and thymine. So let's look at the next question. In forensic science, one of the following technique is used. RNA footprinting, RNA cloning, in vitro fertilization, DNA fingerprinting. So forensic science is where you have to use science to catch, to solve a particular mystery. So let's look at each of the scenarios. RNA footprinting as a technique does not exist. RNA cloning is where you clone RNA for various purposes. Now, it doesn't really help in forensic science because cloning RNA and then Transcripting is, is basically used for protein production. So option B is incorrect. Option C, in vitro fertilization. Now what base, what is in vitro fertilization? It basically means the fertilization of the male and female gametes outside the human body. So basically, um, what we call test tube babies or lab babies. So basically, the gametes are fused outside of the human body, and then the zygote is inserted back into the human body. So that's what in vitro fertilization is. And as you can see, it's mostly used for couples who can't conceive and not for forensic science. So option C is also incorrect which means the right option is option D, DNA fingerprinting. Now, fingerprinting by itself is basically taking someone's fingerprint because they're unique for every person. Um, the idea is the same for DNA fingerprinting, except that it just analyzes your DNA and finds similarities and differences in order to find out who stole, uh, in order to find out who um, was the mystery person. So using DNA fingerprinting is a good idea in forensic science because uh, from various um, traces of human matter, we can find out DNA and that can be used to solve my mysteries and crimes. Now, let's look at another question. Nucleotide sequence submission system and mass submission systems are the submission tools of which of these establishments? GenBank, DDBJ, EMBL, Uniprot. Now let's look at each of these organizations. Uniprot is a database. And it's a database which looks at collecting protein sequences and functional information. Option A is GenBank. GenBank, again, is a database of all nucleotide sequences and 
protein translations. Option C, EMBL. EMBL is short form for the European Molecular Biology Lab. So basically, this is a laboratory. So, as uh, so which well does studies in molecular biology, and finally, DDBJ is the DNA data bank of. Japan. So this data bank is involved in collecting DNA sequences. Um, so if you can see our question, our submission systems, these are two types of submission systems and these are usually related with data banks. So even though GenBank deals with nucleotides, option A turns out to be incorrect because it's a database from which you take data. Uniprot, also the same thing, and it's also working on protein sequences and not DNA. EMBL is a molecular biology lab where um, uh, research is done, so option C is incorrect. The right answer is option B, the da DNA data bank of Japan. So this is... Uh, the bank, the data bank, which collects DNA sequences and which has the submission tools known as nucleotide sequence submission system and mass submission system. So that concludes this episode of SRMJ Triple E Search. We hope you found this episode interesting. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to Agile Rank Mate, your partner in education. If you want to get the latest updates from our channel, then please don't forget to hit the bell icon present below the video. So until the next episode, take care, stay alert, bye-bye for now.